What up, what up, what up? It's your man, Nate. And today, we're going to talk about the top three do's and don'ts from the lift zone. Stay tuned. What up? It's your man Nate. And as I said on the intro, today we're going to talk about. Um, I've been doing ride sharing now for about a year, I think. And uh, we're going to talk about the top three do's and don'ts with a couple of bonuses and a couple and then some commentary after that, okay? So I got my little sheet here um, just so I don't forget anything. So. This comes from one of the subscribers. They wanted to know, okay, Philly Nate, what's your top three do's and don'ts? So let's start with the do's first. And a lot of you guys probably already know this stuff um, and it's trivial, but if you miss it, um, it, could be, it can be bad for your business, okay? So the top one. My top one is to do the guaranteed hours, okay? Lyft has guaranteed hours, Uber has guaranteed hours. It seemed like um, Lyft does more of the guaranteed hours. Now the guaranteed hours aren't the same, okay? With um, Lyft's guaranteed hours, you only have to do one ride within an hour. With Uber's guaranteed hours, you have to do two rides in an hour, and what they're saying is a big old traffic jam. Um, what they're saying is that if you do a ride I'm talking about Lyft or two rides when you're talking about Uber within the hour, then I guarantee you a certain amount. A certain amount. I think this is awesome because it's kind of like having a floor. So I'm going to take Lyft for example. If you do the guaranteed hours for Lyft, just say it's thirty dollars. You're guaranteed to get thirty dollars for that hour. So if I do this part time, but if I did do this full time, that's how I would kind of map it out as far as okay. When are the guaranteed hours? So that's my first recommendation, or that's that's my first top do, um, is to do the guaranteed hours. My second one is to talk to the passengers. Talk to the passengers. Now, not every passenger is going to be anti-social, or social, excuse me. Not every passenger is going to be social. There's going to be some that are hermits or recluses, and they're just going to sit in the back and they're, they're not going to say anything. That's fine. But for most people, okay, they want to talk. It's an experience. That's one thing that separates us from a lot of cab drivers. Not all cab drivers, but a lot of cab drivers. Is that when, when we're doing this riding service, it's like riding with a friend. Okay, so if you do want to increase your tips, if you do want to increase your ratings, talk to the passengers. Okay, talk to the passengers. So that's my second one. And my third one is man, keep your car clean. Keep your car clean. I see a lot of people out here with dirty cars. I talk to the passengers. So when I'm talking to them and I'm asking them about their crazy uh, Lyft or Uber stories, a lot of them tell me that they get in cars that, that are filthy, okay? So keep your car clean. Keep it, I'm not saying to wash it every day, okay? But every week or every two weeks, keep your car clean because that all goes in with the, the uh, customer experience and that's what you want to have, a good customer experience. All right, so my top three do's were do the guaranteed hours, talk to the passengers, and keep your car clean. Um, now let's talk about the don'ts, baby. What not to do, okay? Um, number one is you're only allowed the amount of passengers that you have seat belts, okay? So I have a Nissan Maxima, I got one seat belt in the front, three seat belts in the back, okay? So that's four people total. Don't let the passengers bully you, okay? And then try to squeeze five or six people in. I've done that before. When I first started driving, man, they, I think they, they fit like seven people up in my car, man. And I felt kind of shy because if this was the first time me doing uh, lift, so I didn't say anything. Don't be like that, okay? Let them know. Look, um, by law, 
by law, I can only have as many passengers as the um, as seat belts that I have. So you guys either I'll take four, and you guys call another another Uber or a, another Lyft, or what you guys want to do is you you want to um, cancel this ride and then order a. Um, Uber XL or a Lyft Plus and you want to tell it to them like you're helping them out okay like that's the way that you kind of want to explain it to them like you're helping them out so that's a don't another don't is and I've done this a couple times is don't turn off the application while the passengers are in your car okay I've done this and a couple of the a couple of the subscribers helped me out on this okay because what I did and I did this a couple times is maybe I'll get I, I won't get lost but the GPS gets lost or Google Maps gets lost or something happened where they don't take me to the right place what I used to do is I would turn the app off trying to save them money kind of thinking that that was the right thing to do like that was the morally right thing to do wrong okay because if something were to happen, if there was an accident or something, and I forgot who actually told me about this um, in my comments, but I want to thank you. Um, if you turn that off, that app off, and you still have those people in your car, and something happens, Lyft ain't paying for it, and Uber ain't paying for it, okay? So, what you want to do, sorry about all the shakiness, man, I'm on 95, man. If anybody's in Philadelphia, they know how bad 95 is. Um, so, don't turn the app off, okay? Don't turn the app off. Keep the app on because what's going to happen, man, if you do that nine times out of ten, they're going to give you a bad rating anyway, okay? You would think that it's like, okay, I'm trying to save you money, so um, you're not going to give me a bad rating. No, they're, they're going to give you a bad rating and they're going to complain, Okay? either way so again um, don't turn the app off while you have passengers in your car okay and my last don't is don't double park in the city to pick up passengers man look get on the side of the road get on the side of the road do not act like these cabbies I'm not hating on cabbies cabbies do your thing thing but uh, Lyft drivers, ride-sharing drivers, Uber drivers, do not stop in the middle of the road, okay, to pick up people. Number one, it's not safe, okay, for you or the passenger, because if somebody's not looking and they come in the back of y'all and they hit y'all, it's not a good look. Um, so, pull to the side. Pull to the side or go to the end of the street, and you may have to go down the street, okay, but just for safety reasons, don't do that. Some of my bonuses, okay? My uh, bonus advice is get the bonus. That's my advice. Get the bonus. Um, I do see a lot of people sign up, but they they don't get the bonus. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would um, start this driving out and then not get the bonus. If you... If you don't drive for anybody and just say, okay, you go in a description and you use my, um, let's just say Lyft link. If you use my Lyft link. If, you, if you're if you not driving for anybody, go to my de description, uh, sign up, just drive Lyft until you get the bonus. Then if you wanna go to Uber, drive Uber also, and then turn the Lyft app off until you get the bonus. I see a lot of people leaving a lot of money on the table um, because they're not getting the bonus, and I think a lot of it is to do because people aren't focused. So, all right, man. So, that concludes the uh, segment about lift sharing or, or, or ride sharing. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit of commentary, okay? Some current events. Um, you got LeBron James and Steph Money in the NBA Finals. I don't care who wins, but I don't like either team. Um, I'm definitely a LeBron hater. So anybody out there that knows I'm a LeBron hater, president of the LeBron Hater Fan Club. And 
the light skin power boys. I don't know about them either. Um, it's, it's Saturday morning and Muhammad Ali died, man. I just want to speak on Muhammad uh, for a minute, man. Like this man, his courage. And if you take people to, like just take the athlete of today. What athlete today would stand up the way that he did for, for something that he thought was wrong? Okay, he thought this was wrong. He thought the war in Vietnam was wrong. Okay, and like he said, Vietnam people—they're not my enemy. They don't—they're not—they don't discriminate against me. Okay, they're not my oppressors. You're my oppressor. So why am I gonna go and fight them? I mean, and this we can. We can tag this this line to a, a lot of situations today, man, but I just want to talk about this man's courage, okay? This man's courage to stand up, and right now, we kind of live in a world where a lot of it, man, is about money, it's about money, and it's about money, man, and this man showed you that it's not all about money, all right? What do you believe in, okay? Um, what, what, what's your principles, man? And this went against his principles. And instead of selling out, instead of selling out, he stood up tall. He stood up tall, man. Shout out to Muhammad Ali. Um, and I mean, past that, past the moral fiber, past the moral fiber, man was the greatest heavyweight champion ever. Okay. Um, would he have beat Tyson? Tyson in his prime? Oh, I don't know, man. Tyson was a bad boy in his prime. But Ali, I mean, he, he took on all competitors. And, I mean, it was a different age at that time because they fought like 14, 15 rounds, man. Not like um, fighters of today. And Floyd Mayweather saying that he can beat my... Muhammad Ali, like, please, man, so, shout out to Muhammad Ali, um, look, if you're in the Philadelphia area, if you're in the Philadelphia, Delaware, New Jersey area, and you are looking for another opportunity, another money-making opportunity dealing with nutrition and health, okay, um, email me, email me at liftzone liftzone at gmail.com liftzone at gmail.com if you can't remember that then just go in the comments and shoot me your email okay and then what I'll, I'll do is get you to get you the information okay um, and we can take it from there man look it's your man Philly Nate I'm out if you do have any suggestions on some topics that you want to see holla at your boy alright I'm out